It is 501 now. Thank you, Jacqueline, covering the earthquake. And we have some video coming in, new video from Napa that gives you an even better look at some of that earthquake damage. Many of these buildings, the older buildings, looking like that. And the man who got this video actually captured five hours of video to document the damage to these historic buildings, homes, and businesses. In case you're these, Brian Hickey's live in Napa with an update on what's happening today. Brian, pretty incredible video. Yeah, absolutely, and today the, con the cleanup continues for folks all across Napa. This morning, we're in Browns Valley, which is the west side of Napa, an area that was hit very hard. You talk about the water main repairs. A lot of that work is going on right here in Browns Valley, where there were more than 90 water mains that snapped in uh, the Sunday quake. This is a drop-off location. This is Browns Valley Elementary School, one of more than a dozen places the city has designated for people to come out and drop off their damaged goods. This garbage can here full of a lot of broken wine glasses and vases and things that have uh, came down off the shelves during that uh, 320 a.m. shaker. And you can see behind me the mass of uh, stuff. I just talked to one lady who was out here on her way to work dropping off some broken shelving that came down in the garage. She says uh, all of the area schools have drop-off sites like this one. She even said this one is kind of small compared to the others. So you get the sense of how much stuff people lost during that uh, just those seconds of shaking. One neighbor we talked to early this morning who's been out cleaning up said that, uh, again, it was just a few seconds, but it was enough to bring everything down. The whole houses, I mean, all of our houses, neighbors, et cetera, mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, every cabinet, it, like I said, anything, you know, three feet or, or higher is was on the ground. Mattress. And this is uh, some of the scenery around Browns Valley. This is just up the road from Doug's house, and you can see this massive fissure right down the middle of the road. I'd say it's uh, at its highest point, probably up about six inches from the grade of the roadway. It's split open, leaving big cracks there, uh, piled up asphalt, the concrete's cracked, the sidewalks are all uh, upheaved. It's quite a mess out there. It's going to be a while before they can get out there and make all those repairs. And then even on some of the major roadways, the asphalt has separated and created these huge ledges. And in the last uh, 48 hours, road crews have been able to go out and put in some asphalt to kind of make a ramp and then put a sign out to warn drivers of the rough road ahead. But that is a scene on the west side of the valley here, closest to the epicenter of that earthquake that hit again at 3.20 a.m. on Sunday. And still a lot of work to be done out here to repair the utilities. And uh, again, for folks cleaning up, just getting rid of all the debris and the damaged stuff. Although not all of this, I don't think, was damaged in the quake. Some of it, people just clearing out the garage, I suspect, but certainly taking advantage of these drop-off locations. Live here in Browns Valley Elementary School, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.